Hey kids! This is going to be a response to an individual known as CV Neutron. He is not a YouTuber as far as I know. He posts on CNN's iReport and he posted a blog called I'm Gay and I Support Chick-fil-A. In addition, this is also going to be a general response to people I've seen making similar comments. For starters, if you aren't familiar with the blowout concerning Chick-fil-A, I'd really like to vacation sometime in whatever cave you've been living in. Now, as far as I'm concerned, if you agree with the statements made by Chick-fil-A's president, then it's a done deal for you, and you can pop right off this video right now. I'm not addressing people like you. Instead, I'm addressing those who claim to be in support of equal rights, and yet still choose to frequent Chick-fil-A. So, CV Neutron, or Matt, starts out by declaring himself a liberal, Barack Obama-supporting gay man who supports Chick-fil-A. He makes it very clear that he doesn't agree at all with their position on marriage equality, but then contradicts himself at the end by stating that, quote, we are all Americans and we all care about the same things. We all want equality. We just don't yet know the right way to achieve it. Obviously, that's not true, or there'd be no issue with the legality of same-sex marriage. Anyway, much of his argument is spent invoking freedom of speech and expression, so I'm going to start from there and explain why this is just a giant straw man. First of all, nobody begrudges Dan Cathy for exercising his constitutional rights to be a idiot. As an atheist, I'd be the last person to want to silence anybody for simply for having an unpopular opinion. However, boycotts are also the exercising of free expression. And boycotting a business like Chick-fil-A has absolutely nothing to do with infringing on anyone's right to free speech, because the backlash isn't just about what he said. Chick-fil-A goes much further than just being a fundamentalist-run fast food joint with bigoted overtones. The company actively fights against equal rights for LGBT. That should be the game changer for anyone who claims to be in favor of equality, because now it's no longer about supporting one's right to free speech, it's about supporting and contributing to a company that strives to legislate discrimination. And there is no point in playing any six degrees of separation game with other companies that do not engage in similar activities. There's only one degree here. Chick-fil-A donated $2 million of its revenue generated from profits to political organizations that lobby the government to enact restrictions against LGBT individuals. I can honestly say that I have not heard a single argument that even begins to reconcile this overwhelming paradox. How can you say with a straight face that you support LGBT equality and yet happily frequent a franchise knowing that the money you spend there will be used politically to keep you disenfranchised? If you're going to defend a company and the organizations that they monetarily support, then you really ought to do your homework first. That is, if you care about credibility. So, a company can donate whatever they want to whomever they want. Very true. So let's take a look at the groups that you continue to support and fund through your ongoing support of Chick-fil-A. Groups that go much further than just saying that people like you are an abomination, but specifically target the rights and protections of LGBT, including Focus on the Family, the Eagle Forum, Exodus International, the Alliance Defense Freedom, and the Family Research Council. Focus on the Family campaigned for the Federal Marriage Amendment, which sought to enact a constitutional amendment defining marriage to be between one man and one woman only. The Eagle Forum is headed by Phyllis Schlafly, who is an ardent anti-feminist who was one of the main leaders against the Equal Rights Amendment, which sought a constitutional amendment prohibiting sex discrimination. Exodus International is the off-parodied gay rehab, whose members keep insisting, despite all evidence to the contrary, that sexuality can be repaired. Of course, two of the founders of Exodus International famously left their wives to become life partners. The Alliance Defense Freedom is a group that is currently representing proponents of Prop 8 in the current Perry v. Schwarzenegger federal lawsuit that is challenging the constitutionality of the proposition. And then there's the Freedom Research Council, which is listed by the Southern Poverty Law Center as a hate group after its so-called senior researcher, Peter Sprigg, 
stated that homosexual behavior should be criminalized, that same-sex parenting is dangerous because homosexuals are child molesters, and that the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell would encourage the rape of heterosexual service members. And then there's this. In 2010, the FRC spent $25,000 lobbying Congress to change their condemnation of the Ugandan Kill the Gays bill because it contained, quote, sweeping and inaccurate assertions that homosexual conduct is internationally recognized as a fundamental human right. You really think it's just about freedom of speech? To me, it seems that those who keep saying insipid things like this have been completely duped by Chick-fil-A's pathetic attempt to play the freedom of speech card, when in reality, there's no card to play at all. And by the way, the price of exercising one's freedom of speech is other people exercising theirs right back at you. And there is no stipulation in the First Amendment that anyone need be nice about it. I myself despise false civility. If I find someone to be truly reprehensible in their language and actions, then I see absolutely no reason to patronize that person with fake politeness. Dan Cathy hasn't been unfairly attacked, as CV Neutron and others have claimed. He exposed himself as a bigot, and as such, has made himself a pariah. And there's really no bones about it. Denying a group of people equal rights and protections under the law simply because of their orientation is indefensible. Again, it's not just about stating an opinion. It's about using power and money to impose that opinion on everyone. People like him will invoke their religious beliefs as their justification, thereby ignoring the fact that such reasons do, themselves, violate their beloved First Amendment by mandating all citizens adhere to a religious doctrine. Simply put, I found CV Neutron's blog to be utterly atrocious in regards to its structure and its points. When all else failed, he simply resorted to appealing to emotion by invoking the old stop the hate rhetoric, which I've also seen elsewhere, especially on my Facebook feed. Apparently, a lot of hypersensitive people can't tell the difference between hate and disgust. Well, I support the practices of protesting and boycotting. There are far more powerful tools of expression than some of these youngins can understand. It was the boycott of a bus company in Montgomery, Alabama almost 60 years ago that lit the fuse of what would soon be called the Civil Rights Movement. Was that a response motivated by hate? Or did Montgomery's black population simply have a little bit more dignity than the apologists we have today? It was well over a year ago when the YouTube user ZJMTV first spoke about folks like CV Neutron who make these weak excuses when faced with the thought of having to abstain from a substandard chicken sandwich. We have a term for people like that, and that term is Uncle Tom. Regardless of which civil rights movement is in question, I've never heard an argument that successfully defends the acceptance of being forced to sit in the back of the bus.